Hey guys, today I'm gonna just kind of show you the the greenhouse and the evolution of it over time. Um, you know, always keep building, always keep adding on to things. Uh, so this is you know, probably about four years in, and and get you to the, the stage we're at now. Um, not all of this was done in order, but one of the early things I did was build this water catchment system. These tanks you can safely stack up to three high. You see it pulls out of the gutters, draws them down. This is a primary dump. So this will hold about five gallons worth of water. What it does is it catches all of the debris and stuff that comes off the roof, dumps it down here, these caps are loose, so they leak water really slowly. But I get all my gunk trapped in these tubes as it backs up, comes over, fills the tanks. They're all plumbed together, top ones and the bottom ones. I've got uh, just a convenient hose spigot if I want to water plants off of the rainwater. But then you can see I go underneath the ground here, put on offs on everything just so you can control it. And I'll show you inside where it dumps out to. You can see work in progress and something that, that, that never ends. Um, I acquired these containers. They were had already been cut by another individual into an aquaponic system. He couldn't get it to work. Uh, I bury the fish tank in the ground. This is important. The ground helps maintain your temperature uh, both in the summer and the winter from getting either too hot or too cold. And I've got a top off with a float valve in here that runs from where I was showing you with the rain catchment system. Helps keep everything topped off as we evaporate. Uh, these tanks are each individually plumbed over to the grow beds. Um, again, I control my flow here with ball valves. I've got an Edmund flow system. I did add snorkels to the top of my um, bell siphons. Um, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you have a working knowledge of aquaponics. Um, so I've got, bell, uh, I've got snorkels on those. I also had to add a snorkel because my return is underneath the ground. You can't get enough suction to push that air pocket through without adding a, a, you know, a breather tube or a snorkel here that allows the air pocket to be pushed up. The water flows out. Um, so I've got one pump runs all three of these beds, the ability to add the fourth bed back on top here. Once, you know, I wash them about once a season to get all the gravel clean. It also runs what's uh, my, my deep water table. This was just a fiberglass crab table that a, a fisherman had. I picked it up off of Craigslist, plumbed it in. I grew duckweed in the top. The, the tilapia love the duckweed but it helps control your algae when you're not using your bed with active floats on top of it. Um, so, you know, the, the phase we're at now, I'll show you in another video. We've got the evaporative cooler up against the wall. I've got misting systems. I've got some solar activated fans on the other end of the greenhouse. These are all temperature controlled. Uh, here in mid Florida, we have a bit of buildup of heat as you can imagine. So still kind of perfecting the right amount of ventilation. Um, got the door is open right now. It's a little warmer than I'd like it to be, but we're gonna add some additional exhaust fans that'll help pull in through the evaporated cooler. Uh, again, evaporated cooler, misting system, it's all built off the rainwater and with, with the float system. And um, you know, from there it backs up to the, the hard line to the house. So if I don't have enough rainwater for some reason, then you know the house will top it off but uh, the ultimate goal here would be to have the entire bottom of this be individual ponds um, i'll grow you know the various floppy and other fish in those ponds i can have them you know, grown out at different intervals depending on the size of the pond that way as we missed in here all of that water is collected and reused and, and recycled um, but i imagine that'll be That'll be in year five or six. Uh, we're about year four or five right now. This is building the time. So, quick introduction. We'll get into more detail later on how I built some of the individual systems. But just kind of wanted to give everybody an idea of what we're starting here.